I've been watching the hell out of some YouTube videos and I realized that I need to insulate the top of my beehive roof here. So I need to plug up these holes and get those uh, so the draft isn't in there and then figure out something for the inside of this. Probably just a bunch of stiff board. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the stiff uh, insulation board. Sorry, that's, that's what that stuff's called. This stuff right here. So I traced a tack bottle that I had that was literally the same exact fucking size as those holes. And when I traced it onto this, it made it a little bit larger, which made it fit perfectly, nice and snug like a bug in a rug into the, uh, the openings here so that I can plug those up. These openings will create draft that I don't need in the, in the hive, and they'll also make it easy for things to rob the hive of honey later in the season. So I needed to plug those up. Also, I needed to get some of that shit inside the roof itself. Yes, just like your house, the bees need a little house with some insulation. They are pretty damn good at regulating temperature from what I hear on their own, and uh, this will help them do that. So we added that in there. It was a little bit of a bitch to get it in there. I had to taper some edges and shit, but whatever. Got it done. Look at this bad boy. Sealed up. Yeah, buddy. Better than some people's houses, right? We got the screens on there, so hopefully nothing fucks with it. I even had time today to, uh, to start getting the bottom board prepped to place on top of some cinder blocks, you know, and support the hive itself. Putting on some good old min wax here. Yeah, buddy. That old-fashioned shit's the best shit, right? That straight-up minwax. Look at that, buddy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God, it looks so beautiful. Then I will uh, waterproof this, and we'll get it under the hives. I can't fucking wait to be a beekeeper. Hopefully they survive. <laughs> Putting in all this work, they better fucking live.